the lines. In three, two, one, go. All three red robots and all three blue robots moving quickly off their habitat platforms, each scoring points in the process during the sandstorm period. Shaker Robotics almost getting two complete hatches in sandstorm mode. Well done by that team. Red Alliance working together, adding more cargo to the rocket ship for the Red Alliance early on in this match. Scottbot working on the far side of the field, looking to pick up a piece of cargo, trying to deliver it to the blue cargo ship. While Shaker once again works on the high end of the red spacecraft. Thunder Colts working on the end of the cargo ship, trying to place a hatch. It doesn't look like it might stick. We'll see if that works or not. If it stays, Infernobotics working along with their partner Scott Bot on the blue end of the field. Shaker still working on the far side of the field on the red spacecraft. Again, Shaker now working on the high end of the red spacecraft, adding its second piece of cargo. Now they're gonna back up, pick up some more cargo and work on the bottom end. Will we get a completed rocket by the end of this match? 50 seconds left. And there's your last piece of cargo. One full red spacecraft for this qualifying round. 35 seconds left in the match. Thunder Colts getting ready to head up to their level two. Sticking their back in the air, now putting the front in the air. 20 seconds left. Thunder Colts moving back in. Shaker, will they make it up to level three? Pat Patrick Medford already up at level three for the blue. Shaker heading up for the red. We'll see how this shakes out with the final score. Final score is coming up soon. Qualifying round 25 coming up next. 89 to 51. Four ranking points for the Red Alliance. That's because of having a 15 point or more climb on the HAB at the end of the match and having a full rocket ship with six hatches.